Hi everybody, welcome to Tuesday's Daily Video Devo. Renee here, I'm here at church. It's actually right after the 11 a.m. service on Sunday morning. The crowd has just dispersed. We just had hundreds of people around here at the missions fair meeting our different missionaries, global partners all around the world. And one of them was Dr. VG Kamoff. And VG, hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Thank enjoying you. the Val Week. Oh, you. it's so much fun. Yeah. And there's a lot more for you to get involved with. Just go to tlc.org slash Wow, to get all the details. But uh, VG, I, I wanted to talk to you because you serve uh, both as the founder and the director of Little Flock Children's Home and School uh, near Chennai, India, that we support both personally, Lori mm -hmm. and I support, and then also the church does. But also you've served as a pastor in Oakland, which is also not an easy place to serve <laughs> as a pastor. And you've seen a lot of obstacles in your ministry, obstacles, crime and poverty and, and government intrusion and, and over-regulation. I mean, I could go on and on, right? Yeah, yeah. So how do you persist? I need to know, and everybody who's watching needs to know because we all go through tough times. How have you kept going? One scripture verse from Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Whenever I see obstacles, face obstacles, or I've learned of anything, my heart usually says, oh, I wonder how this is gonna work out. Maybe it's not gonna work out. And I'm reminded, trust in the Lord, because he says, don't lean on your understanding. We have understanding. Yeah. We are able to think for yeah. ourselves. We are capable people. We can right. solve problems. Right. So I think what's wrong with my understanding? Compared to God's word, my understanding is faulty. Mm. I can only see what is near me. He's able to see the future. Mm. So that's when I begin to put the obstacle in God's hands. I literally have written out, I trust in you, God. I will not lean on my own understanding. Mm. I am acknowledging you as the sovereign Lord over all these circumstances, these government officials, mm. whatever's going on in Oakland, everything, I literally have to envision putting that in God's hands and saying, here it is. You have the great understanding. You have the power. Mm. I surrender it to you. You put me in this place. Yeah. You put me in yeah. this place of ministry. Right. I wouldn't have chosen this, but for you. Mm. This is yours. I'm giving it back to you. Mm. You're the one who can remove this obstacle. And I do that. And when I pray and I settle down within myself, God first and foremost gives me peace mm. and a hopefulness mm. that displaces my fear. Mm. Well, thank you so much for sharing, VG. Looking forward to this week. Thank you. Thank you all. And I hope you take advantage of some of the amazing events coming up like midweek, Wednesday night. Hope you're here for free Coralita sausage dinner and tons of missionary presentations. God bless you. See you next time.